Cloud adoption continues to gather momentum as organizations seek to differentiate their value in the market. The subject of migration and modernization remains as relevant today as it was for early adopters of cloud. What is different is the variety and complexity of business problems we're solving in the cloud. So, what are the key considerations customers should have when defining their business and technology strategy in 2022? Hello, my name is Juhi Kapoor and I'm joined by Micah Smith. In this session, we want to share with you the experience we've gained from thousands of customers through a repeatable migration and modernization acceleration framework. A framework designed to accelerate business value realization. Customers want to transform their businesses to compete in an increasingly digital business environment by becoming more agile. So what does agile mean? The definition of agility is the ability to move quickly and easily, that is, be more responsive and flexible. What types of questions can test if technology creates true business agility? Can we offer our customers the same high-performance experience through multiple channels? Can we alter this experience quickly, iteratively and collaboratively? Do we understand our customer preferences and behaviour well enough to offer real-time options of what's best and what's next? Do we have a common view of our customer across the organisation? And that customer view is it equally accessible to field staff in a small regional town as it may be in head office? Data must be available where and when you need it. This is equally true of our workforce, that they're able to access all of the applications and productivity tools remotely as they do in corporate locations. Many customers used virtual desktop infrastructure like Amazon Workspaces and Amazon AppStream to do exactly that. The technology for content delivery, contact center, remote workspaces are based on data, analytics and machine learning and they must be designed to integrate. One of the foundations of that integration is cloud data architecture and storage. AWS offers a great breadth of optimized storage services. But not everyone wants to build all their applications. Are we able to create partnerships and alliances based on an exchange of value with speed, security, scale, and at optimum cost? AWS Marketplace has great options of best and breed solutions. Community standards have moved rapidly, demanding new levels of corporate citizenship. Can we demonstrate sustainability and ethical sourcing for our products and services? Sustainability is a market differentiator and in some industries, a regulatory requirement. Can we experiment, explore and innovate with speed and high performance while not compromising on security and cost? These questions will help in preparing your organization for true business agility. These questions will help in developing technical agility as a strategic asset. Customers are increasingly adopting cloud services. While the priority of their particular reasons may vary, the goals remain quite similar to reduce cost, drive innovation, improve customer experience and scale, and improve their security posture. However, the journey to cloud adoption may look quite different between organizations, especially when not everyone is in the same starting position. Often, cloud maturity may differ between lines of business, even within the same organization. The reality is that customers have existing data centers, and investments in legacy applications, and years, sometimes decades, of data still locked on premise. Other customers start their journey with cloud native development, 
building net new applications and services directly in AWS. This is great. It's an excellent way to see early results. Others are selectively moving workloads to the cloud. That said, the real long-term benefits of transformation will not be realized until those legacy applications are migrated to the cloud and modernized to truly take advantage of cloud capability, of scale, resiliency, data availability, and modern development practices. Now let us look at how the value proposition changes as the level of cloud maturity moves from technical agility to business agility. Migrations provides an entry point with minimum disruption and a lot of baseline value. Its signature strengths are optimization and automation. Value is measured by cost reduction, scalability, uplift in security, and global reach while reducing technical debt. It has a smaller footprint on operations as skills are transferred to operating the same applications on cloud. As skill levels mature, the cloud center of enablement is created. Development and operations teams incorporate security throughout the development lifecycle. Commonly referred to as DevSecOps teams, they work alongside product teams in the business. These changes, as well as a changed application modernization, use of serverless technologies, degree of reuse and refactor can be used to measure value at this stage. All these are still in the realm of technical agility but now create a platform for innovation. The start of business agility is when those DevSecOps teams and product teams rely completely on automated processes to test and release new product features and functions at speed. What took the business months and weeks to do earlier can now be done in days and hours. Embedding good governance of the operating model is a key feature. Progressively moving to managed services frees up high-value technical skills to focus on solving business problems rather than managing databases and operating systems. Event streams and data lakes offer new insights into business. AWS Marketplace offerings allow faster time to value and best-in-class solutions. Value can be measured in terms of business process changes, feature releases, and interoperability. This is evolutionary innovation and marks a cultural change and closer cooperation between business and technical teams. As skills and confidence build, and when data is available equally to all parts of the organization within the bounds of security and privacy, so does the appetite to experiment and push new boundaries. Purpose-built databases and productionized machine learning models, high-performance compute are examples of services consumed. Finally, business and innovation can be realized. The hallmarks of value here are new products and services, exploring new markets, business models and revenue streams. Achieving true business agility delivers exponential returns. As customers move towards application and data modernization, the level of initial effort increases, but so does business value, while operational responsibilities decrease. The modern cloud adoption journey recommends a combined migration and modernization motion with at least a rehost and move to manage motion to start with and continue to embrace cloud native architecture. As a guide, rehost should be considered for workloads that are difficult to modernize in one step or of low business value. The move towards cloud and native 
and serverless architectures requires a higher level of effort, but results in an increase in business value and a reduction in cloud operational responsibility of the customer. Modernization enables customers to shift undifferentiated heavy lifting of operational responsibilities, to free up resources for innovation-led activities. The spectrum of capabilities on AWS gives access to options across different levels of modernization based on business and application needs. It can range from EC2, least modernization, where customers can build and run everything and manage operational activities such as integration, scaling, security and patching, in addition to code, all the way to serverless, the most modernization, where customers only manage the application code and AWS manages the operational activities. We encourage customers to decide based on specific business needs, their team's expertise, and their application needs. However, lift and shift to migration to EC2 alone is not sufficient to unlock full cloud potential. Migration, coupled with modernization, maximizes cloud benefits for customers. Many organizations struggle to build a solid business case for cloud adoption. Using familiar methods, they tend to focus on incremental efficiency gains from infrastructure costs, such as applications move from on-premise to cloud, move to managed and cloud-native services. This is one component and does not identify the true return on investment of cloud adoption. AWS provides a cloud value framework and shares important metrics that measure the value gained from direct cost savings, infrastructure total cost of ownership, and includes improved staff productivity and increased operational resilience. It also includes the benefits of business agility by way of innovation, new features and products, and a sustainability calculator. These are the exponential returns of modernization. This approach helps to maximize return on investment. In setting up a foundation for success, I would encourage you to discuss your business case needs with AWS experts and certified partners. I will now hand over to Micah to take us through the proven modernization pathways and accelerators that can take you from automation to digital disruption. Thanks, Juhi. AWS has a great framework for migration and modernization. This framework can be adopted for hundreds of workloads or entire data center exits, or for a single application or application group. We think about our framework having three key phases. Firstly, assess and understand your workloads, creating a case for change. This often takes shape through deploying tooling to discover your environment, then building a business case or developing a board paper. Mobilize to build business, technical, and operational readiness while piloting migrations to prove patterns and the ability to scale. Get your operating model ready for cloud workloads and extend existing or deploy new security frameworks into the cloud. Finally, migrate and modernize to iterate your workload moves and deploy modernization patterns at scale while continuing to optimize and streamline your operations. We've enhanced our framework recently to include accelerators. These are in the form of experience-based accelerators or EBAs. The EBA process has become a great way to give customer teams direct experience through EBA parties, generally three days of working together with AWS and partners to focus on key challenges or blockers preventing your, you meeting your business goals. We have a number of these multi-day workshops or parties people parties to establish a center of excellence, portfolio parties to extend the environment discovery and deploy more tooling, platform parties to establish and harden a landing zone, and acceleration of outcomes through focused migration or modernization parties. I think it's important to understand that this framework applies across all business types. 
Enterprises, small to medium businesses and software companies can leverage this framework and adopt or take the elements best suited to their business needs. It's also able to be applied to customers building or buying parts of their migration journey. Our marketplace partners have great product and service offerings to accelerate migrations, whether it's monitoring security and compliance outcomes, providing pre-built landing zones, or deploying entire application stacks in your AWS environments. We've talked a lot about modernization, and while there are a lot of different ways to modernize workloads, through working with thousands of customers, AWS has identified many common cloud modernization pathways. When thinking about improving your business and technical agility, applying these established pathways can accelerate your cloud adoption and make room for innovation. Use these proven pathways to avoid months of heavy lifting yourself and allow time to focus on the important projects and outcomes for the business. These modernization mechanisms are supported extensively by AWS through ProServe delivery kits, EBA parties, self-serve architectures and partner offerings. They are bite-sized kits with tested, proven, prescriptive guidance on approaches for important workloads or applications and can effectively demonstrate how to refactor your applications to run better in the cloud. Examples might include containerizing applications, moving existing containers to Fargate, building services and microservices using AWS Lambda and API Gateway, configuring a code deployment software delivery pipeline, or moving to modern or managed data services. Your starting points might vary. Workloads might be still on-premises, or you have made a leap to host applications on EC2. Regardless of where the source is, these pathways can be adopted to support your requirements and shift your workloads further into the cloud native operating model. Expanding on just one of the application examples which could use these established modernization pathways, let's think about a business.NET application on Windows, on premises or running on EC2. Modernization is about focusing on optimizing workloads and moving them to fit for purpose managed compute and serverless services. Modernized workloads result in lower costs, lower operational burden, and improved agility, scalability, performance, security, and productivity. We can apply modernization techniques and pathways to enable breaking up the functional aspects of an application to be scaled independently. In this example, we see a .NET legacy application on Windows OS and show an application journey across various functional aspects, leveraging cloud native architecture, managed containers, managed databases, and open source operating systems in AWS. The net result is a controlled, modularized application with low operational costs and the ability to scale and be iterated as required by the business. A recent customer with dozens of .NET applications running on-premises was able to migrate their fleet using one or several of these pathways and accelerators over a nine-month period. After running the assess phase and identifying the business case to move, the customer prepared their cloud environment through a few weeks of mobilized activities and then modernized their applications over multiple two-week sprints. The net result for this organization after completing their modernization program is a recognizable and measurable lift in business agility. They have also lowered their operational costs and have realized the ability to iterate the application faster to suit business and customer needs. Speaking of modernization, there are a number of AWS customers who have realized business value through their modernization journeys. Sportsbet is a fantastic example who have scaled their business through modernizing their core applications using AWS services. Seeing business metrics showing they've increased their application performance by 30% and accelerated development by 60% validates the work they've done to build a cloud-first culture. Looking back a few slides where Juhi talked about modernization driving innovation, sports better reaping the benefits of having an embedded innovation culture. They've been able to move beyond technical agility and embrace business agility using cloud native services to innovate and rapidly scale their products and services. This has been highlighted by the customer's general manager for technology, 
sharing that data is the lifeblood of the business. Their data platform is used to manage risks and liabilities for both Sportsbet and their customers, drive promotions and business growth, and guide their marketing and customer experiences. Modernisation themes used by Sportsbet have included moving to modern, open data platforms, including AWS Glue for their ETL needs, and Amazon Redshift to power their analytical workloads. They have also modernised their front-end and compute layers to powerful modern EC2 instances, building the infrastructure as code to scale as required for their seasonal peak workloads. This journey has been underpinned by ensuring access to training across the business. Sportsbet Cloud and Data Academies have lifted IT and business teams' knowledge of data and the power of data to transform a business. With over 500 staff trained on AWS, Sportsbet have ensured the ongoing growth of their innovation culture and awareness of the power of cloud services. Bringing this knowledge to all parts of the business drives the product development in Sportsbet, opening new markets, products, and delivering new experiences for their customers. Another great story of business and technical agility in the cloud is Qantas. Qantas is Australia's largest domestic and international airline, transporting both freight and passengers, and has moved over 70% of their applications to cloud. In their journey from 2016 to today, we see their excellence in business agility has been achieved by repeatedly and consistently applying the acceleration framework multiple times. Some acceleration programs have been championed by IT teams and others led by line of business executives and owners. Qantas has had a turbulent time in recent years and has really leaned into cloud native services and innovation to sustain, protect and grow their business. Cost focus has been one of their themes with a core platform team of just 12 people to run and maintain their cloud environment. This shows great technical agility. Qantas has enjoyed considerable success in reducing costs through optimising usage, using a two-way strategy of rule-based automation engines to turn off unused resources out of ours, and using right-sizing to identify opportunities to downsize over-provisioned EC2 and EBS volumes. Having the bulk of their applications and data in the cloud has opened up their opportunities to innovate and meet changing business requirements quickly. Their recognition of both cost and sustainability needs led them to building a machine learning model on their aeroplane routing. By modelling small changes to their flight patterns and integrating with weather, historical data and other sources, Qantas was able to save 1-2% to of fuel use on many flights. While this is a small amount on an individual flight basis, this expands to $40 million in fuel costs every year, and even more importantly, saving 50 million kilograms in reduced carbon emissions. Qantas still has a journey to go in moving to the cloud. We know they will realise further savings and continue to innovate and lead their market as they adopt further modern applications in the cloud. One of the key themes in the Qantas customer story was sustainability and carbon reduction. Amazon is committed to a sustainable future and through our business operations and developing the Climate Pledge, we will support our customer goals of responding to new standards of corporate citizenship. Our goals are clearly laid out as above, net zero carbon by 2040, 100% renewable energy by 2025 and contributions to the Climate Pledge Fund. While we invite our customers and partners to sign up to the Climate Pledge, there are also substantial sustainability benefits in embracing AWS to improve sustainability. A 2019 report by 451 Research concluded that AWS's infrastructure is 3.6 times more energy efficient than the median surveyed enterprise data centres, and moving on-premises workloads to AWS can lower the workload carbon footprint by 88%. We've launched our Customer Carbon Footprint tool to help customers visualise and measure their carbon impact and estimate it moving forwards. Practical actions can make meaningful improvements to your carbon footprint in AWS. We see customers carefully right-sizing workloads and increasing efficiency of use of compute workloads, decreasing cost and improving their carbon impact. Using high efficiency or fit-for-purpose services like AWS Graviton and Lambda also contributes, as well as simple steps like scheduling workloads to be shut down when not in use, or using auto-scaling to increase or reduce computing requirements. Cost and resource utilisation management is a key measure of technical agility, underpinning business agility, 
and empowering businesses to measure, report and minimise their environmental impact. In summary, our customer focus has helped us design and hone tools, guidance, services and programs to simplify workload migration and modernisation for customers. We've shown that these source workloads can be diverse, from legacy databases and mainframes, to enterprise applications, modern container platforms, or high performance storage or compute environments. Our culture at AWS has helped us collaborate with enterprise customers to build cloud native offerings that replicate or replace these core enterprise applications. This ranges from fully licensed third-party offerings to purpose-built AWS and partner replacement offerings that meet or exceed the performance and scale of on-premises equivalents. Our Amazon CEO, Andy Jassy, created the business and services we now know as AWS, and he likes to remind us that there is no compression algorithm for experience. Our migration and modernization acceleration program embodies this having been guided by over 10 years of direct customer interactions and experiences with thousands of the world's enterprises, digital native businesses, and SaaS and software companies. To support the customer journey to develop their business and technical agility, our Migration and Modernization Acceleration Program has many pillars. Customers can choose from industry-focused free resources, AWS professional services, or certified partners to guide their migration and modernization underpinned by incentives and investments to reduce the cost of change. Our training and certification programs aim to lift our customers into a cloud-native operating mode, ensuring both business leaders and technical teams have a consistent understanding of the power of cloud, how to get the best out of it for their businesses. We encourage you to get engaged with our training and certification content today. Skill Builder is our online learning centre that makes it easier for anyone, from beginners to experienced professionals, to build AWS cloud skills. We offer over 500 free digital courses that can help you and your team build new cloud skills and learn about the latest services when and where it's convenient in up to 16 languages. As you build your skills, consider preparing for one of our 11 AWS certifications. These industry recognized certifications span foundational, professional and specialty levels to validate AWS knowledge and skills, building your credibility and confidence. Join the AWS Certified Community, which brings together AWS Certified Practitioners and Builders in an exclusive online community. Scan one or both of the QR codes on the screen to get started with your cloud skills, training and certification. So what is next? Here are some great resources to get you started or progressed on your migration and modernization journey. Our map landing page is here with details of the program. Discover an AWS partner, especially with our migration competency, and engage with them for an assessment of your workloads. And you can learn more here about our landing page for sustainability at AWS and across Amazon. And a reminder that our recently released customer carbon footprint tool is now available to all customers from within their console. Thank you for watching. You can reach out to us via LinkedIn or through your AWS account managers to talk about all things migration and modernization. Please go ahead and complete the session survey.